I sometimes ask them, you know, how did you get that passion? Nobody ever knows for sure. You know, it's something deep in you. It's so far in your background. Uh, and uh, But those are the most treasured passions, I think. The ones that we, that we they, we've had them since we were little kids. And that certainly was me, uh, you know, watching Neil Armstrong step onto the moon, being imprinted with that idea of science and engineering and technology and exploration. Uh, for me, it has been a, uh, a lifelong passion, and it continues. You know, uh, so five years old, fast forward uh, many years, and I am uh, sitting in my living room, and I'm thinking about rockets, as I often do, and uh, I probably know as much about rockets as I do about computer science, for example. I mean, I really think about this a lot, and I have since I'm a tiny kid. And it occurs to me that um, you might be able to recover the actual engines that took mankind to the moon. So the, the injector plate that they're unwrapping is really what is key to making the F1 engine an engine and not just a million and a half pounds of bomb. Um, it's, it, 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 the, the story behind it, it's covered in these minute holes that release uh, fuel and oxidizer in an incredibly precise mixture in order to ensure that the, the combustion that occurs is smooth and, and controlled. Uh, so now our collection special, specialist, Allison Loveland, is going to, uh, to proceed to unwrap the, the rest of, of the, the injector plate so you can get a, a full view of this, this very first sneak peek of the, the items that we've received. Uh, and then I'm also going to ask uh, that a, a couple members, I see some members from our exhibit team, we have, we're going to also open up uh, the crate, the large crate that's over here, which contains uh, a heat exchanger from Apollo 16. And so uh, folks are, are welcome to come up and take a look. We do ask that you do not touch. Uh, these are these are you know, one of a kind artifacts, uh, and they uh, they are also have been rendered very delicate and also very sharp from their time on the sea floor. So, uh, but it's just incredible that we're able to, to see them here right now. So. Jeff, I'd like to thank you and your team, and Allison and, and our head curator, Dan Hagedorn, uh, Christine Runte, the folks who will process these artifacts inbound to make sure that we know every detail of every one of them and then take care of them forever so that we can share that story of the past and inspire those stories of the future. Jeff, we absolutely want to thank you and all the folks from Bezos Expeditions and the, the folks out on the boat. That's an incredible story that will be part of the permanent exhibit that will be here starting next year.